on your website, jasonhortontv.com, mm -hmm. it uh, looks like you encourage visitors to sign up for the mailing list. Yes. And you offer um, exclusive videos. So how do those videos differ, those exclusive ones, from the ones that are just on the regular YouTube channel? You, you, I can do, a lot of it's behind the scenes, um, short little short little videos. I'm just trying to not have people rely on YouTube to see um, to see my, see my stuff. You know, I try to find, have my own sites and, and, and things. So if YouTube goes down for the day, you know, and it does, I mean, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a machine um, and there's humans working it. Uh, I still want people to see, see my stuff. So I just give them another play. I'm just really, it's really just to encourage people to go to another site. It's hard. It's hard to, you know, you, when you put up a, put up a video, you can't be like, go here and also go here and also go here. They're just gonna be like, you know, it's, it's almost like, no, I'm just gonna go nowhere. I'm gonna walk away. So I'm just slowly trying to drive traffic over, uh, to my own website. I don't really do a lot with that right now because, uh, you know, certain things that I'm working on, but I'm always kind of making that, um, making that transfer to hopefully have everything hosted on there as well. And so it's not just YouTube. Like if YouTube, you know, went away, I'd like, you know, a place for people to go to see what I do. Right. But keeping with that sort of marketing mm -hmm. mind, um, what are you hoping to gain by getting their email address? Do you plan to do a newsletter or do you already do a newsletter? Uh, I haven't done, I actually, I hate newsletters. I hate getting them. But I don't hate people for doing them because I totally understand. And, you know, not everyone is me. So I don't really like to, it's, it's funny, it's like I'm, I, I love promoting myself, but I don't like bothering people. Uh, I, I really, really don't. Uh, everyone's busy and stuff like that, but there's a certain amount to say, hey, listen, I have something, I hope you like it. And, you know, an email list and people can, I, I, I unsubscribe from email lists all the time. It's, you know, it's that easy. So I'm hoping to, you know, kind of have that, like I have email lists for like, hey, people of this demographic, blogs, you like these kind of videos I do, whether it's like my, my kind of more like relationship daty stuff, uh, the kind of adult star stuff that I do with my podcast. So I have those, so I'll send them out in an email going, hey, if you want to pick this up and use it, great, let me know and I'll promote it. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, uh, by myself, it's hard for me to really, I could probably get someone to do that for me, um, but it's, it's just a slow process of kind of owning your audience. Right. So is it like sort of that 90s method where you can enter the site, but can you please just enter your info first, or do you do it where it's a sidebar, where someone... Um, it's, it's encouraging people to, uh, it's encouraging people to leave their, at least leave their email, you know, where it's not so much like, you're signing up for this. It's like, well, you left your email voluntarily, you know, maybe I'll email you not very often about some new new stuff I get out. I mean, there used to be like websites kind of, I feel like went away and now I feel like they're coming back. Uh, at least that's what, in my conversations with people in the know, uh, websites are, are, are coming back. Uh, like Smosh, it's, you know, the most subscribed YouTube channel, their website is like an entity. You know, it, it's, they generate a lot from their website. I'm not super familiar, but I know that they, they do, that that's a very important part of their big picture.